Here's the thing you all need to take away from this. Every single one of you can achieve a similar success. David, I love the concept of newsjacking. And I'm curious if you could elaborate a little bit about the importance of the proper timing. Newsjacking sounds bad, right? You think of hijacking and carjacking and it's like, oh my gosh, it's bad, but it's actually really good. Because what you're doing is you're looking at a, the news cycle. And every news story goes through a certain cycle. It, it starts and it grows and then people get interested in it and then at a certain point it peaks and then it comes back down again and then nobody's interested. And that, that news cycle might be an hour or two for a smaller story or a day or, or a week for a big story or, or sometimes even longer. The key, and this is the important part, the key is to inject your ideas through a blog post, a tweet, a video, as soon as the public is beginning to get interest but before the media have written their stories about it. Because then when the media are writing and when people are interested in, you're in front of them. So that means you have to be quick. That means you have to get, as soon as you see something that's out there that's interesting, you need to put your idea out there. Now, what I always look for, and I recommend everyone looks for, is something that's, that's breaking in the news, international news, local news, your industry news, um, but that it's in your area of expertise you can comment on, but that is just starting to break and you do a blog post, do a video right at that moment. That's the key. And you know, most people, they wait too long. Most people are waiting till that news has peaked and is on the downtrend and no one cares then. It's all been written about, it's all been done, you're too late.